Shauna Newcomb talked to college students who ran into problems with the law. She joins us live from NC State with her stories. Shauna? So you've just blown out your candles on your 18th birthday. What's the big whoop? Well, you've just reached a milestone in your life and you can finally vote. But for a lot of students in North Carolina, they're realizing that right to vote, well, it isn't always guaranteed. Some students are feeling the burn. Others want to make America great again. Meredith College students are joining millions of millennials in this political revolution. We are the ones who are going to be those taxpayers. We are the ones who are going to be living out those laws. And we want to make a say in who, who we want to create those laws. We're going to be on History Channel one day. Like this is, like we're in the thick of it. This is the most historic election, the most exciting um, of our times. Hey, if you don't like how things are in your city, your state, your country. This is your chance. This is your only chance. Millions of people are coming in to vote. Others say there is no chance because our system is broken. When it comes to the actual problems that we do care about, no one's really caring because they're like, oh, listen to what Trump said. Others believe it's not just the system that's at fault. The size of the millennial generation is the same size as the baby boomer, boomer generation. So it's a huge part, but they just don't vote as much. In addition, the new voter ID law might be discouraging some from participating. Many students here in North Carolina aren't actually from North Carolina. Out-of-state licenses like this one you see here may not do any good when you go to vote. I think that it's a pretty blatant attack on certain demographics of our state. Though not all agree that the law is part of the problem. The voter ID law is a good thing. I think it's accessible enough for all Americans. For this subset of Americans, the challenges are real, and only their political engagement can overcome them. Now, if you do have an out-of-state license, don't worry about it. There's still a way that you can get one, and in time for the next election. All you have to do is grab your social, head to the local licensing DMV, and file the correct paperwork. I'm Shauna Newcomb reporting live from NC State. Thank you, Shauna. Since